U.S. forces targeted dozens of sites in Iraq and Syria with airstrikes aiming at Iranian-backed targets. Now, this was in retaliation for the drone strike that killed three U.S. service members last Sunday. CBS News' Bradley Blackburn has more. The air assault targeted dozens of sites in Iraq and Syria. Two B-1 bombers were among aircraft used, and U.S. Central Command reported more than 85 targets hit, including command and control centers, weapons depots, and drone storage facilities, all linked to Iran's Revolutionary Guard and affiliated militia groups. The U.S. blames an Iran-backed militia called the Islamic Resistance in Iraq for an attack on a U.S. outpost in Jordan last Sunday, while an air defense system was offline to allow the safe return of a U.S. drone from a mission, an Iranian-made drone struck sleeping quarters, wounding 40 and killing three. I don't think the, uh, the adversaries are of a one-and-done mindset. Uh, and so uh, they have a lot of capability. I have a lot more. Since the start of the Israel-Hamas war last October, U.S. forces in Iraq and Syria have been targeted at least 165 times. But the U.S. has avoided striking Iran directly, trying to prevent a larger war. In a statement Friday, Iran's president said, We will not start a war, but if a cruel force wants to bully us, the Islamic Republic of Iran will give a strong response. The strikes were approved by President Biden and launched just a few hours after he attended the dignified transfer of the remains of those three U.S. soldiers, Staff Sergeant William Rivers and Sergeants Brianna Moffitt and Kennedy Sanders all received promotions. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News. Officials tell CBS News there will be another round of strikes in Iraq and Syria and joint U.S. and British strikes against Houthi targets in Yemen.